Iran does not trust the United States. We do not trust Iran. We have a very long, very difficult history. This is not about the normalization of our relations. We are still qu quite concerned about state-sponsored terrorism. We are quite concerned about human rights. We are quite concerned about what's happening in Yemen, what's happening in Syria, other parts of the world, in Lebanon. None of that will go away. And if we are able to reach uh, this nuclear agreement, which I hope we do, it will mean uh, the suspension and termination, ultimately, of all of our bilateral sanctions, uh, which I'll come back to in a moment, uh, and the international sanctions as well. Uh, but the terrorism sanctions, human rights sanctions, will remain. Uh, so uh, we have a long way to go in this relationship. The latest incident, if you're talking about the cargo ship yesterday, uh, we don't know all the facts uh, regarding that yet. People are trying to unwind what occurred here. Uh, conversations are ongoing, uh, and I don't have anything more to say about it except to say uh, the news report was quite concerning, and now we have to understand what has occurred. We, of course, all want to leave Nepal in charge. It is their country, how they want to proceed. Uh, but I know that they could not proceed forward in this overwhelming disaster. When you have a disaster like this, it's very difficult. You're in trauma. You're in shock. Uh, and you need the help and support of your neighbors, of your friends, of leaders like India uh, to try to deal with all of the consequences of that. We're also grateful for the leadership that India has shown uh, in helping to get so many people out of Yemen uh, during the recent crisis, including some American citizens.